This weather report proudly brought to you by the King Summer Sale. Why buy ordinary furniture when you can come home to King? Sale in Sunday. A young woman has been robbed of her dream car after an online competition turned sour. The company responsible has since gone to ground, with its business partners now claiming they're also owed thousands. Amelia Conway could not believe her luck when she won a $113,000 car after spending just $120 on online raffle tickets with Hello Lifestyle Australia. Amelia, that's your new car. <laughs> the 22-year-old was flown from Melbourne to Brisbane to collect the jazzed-up Nissan Patrol. At that stage, it's yeah, it all seemed purely legitimate. But this week, without warning, her new car was repossessed. Amelia says she had a feeling something was wrong soon after she returned home with the car mid last year. I started contacting them probably a month after I got it because I figured out I didn't have the spare key, um, and because I had to change it into my name and get a roadworthy here in Victoria myself. She didn't receive any paperwork and later realised it was still under finance. I've rang them numerous times. The phone just goes straight to voicemail. Hello Lifestyle Australia has since shut down its website and social media pages. The Queensland car company that helped customise the winning Nissan says it's facing its own trouble with the competition site, claiming Hello Lifestyle owes it thousands of dollars in unpaid invoices. Charity Red Frogs was also promised donations from Hello Lifestyle, but says not all came through. A lot of businesses do this nowadays. Because they're partnering with an established business has been around for quite a few years, the same way that they might... Uh, partner with a celebrity, it's just adding additional social proof. That doesn't mean that the company itself has got perfectly clean records. Raffles for products worth more than $50,000 require a permit in Queensland. It's pretty frustrating to think that you can get a car and then all of a sudden it's quite literally just gone. Beth and Yeoman, 7 News. With an hour, here's Bertie. Thanks for that, Maxi. Hello, everybody. Certainly was a scorcher across the southeast today. Yes, we have had many hotter days than what we've had today, but just light winds to start with. It really wasn't too much of a breeze there just to take the top off, if you know what I mean. But we are set for another warm night tonight and tomorrow another hot day. Bit of a southerly breeze, though. That will cool things down, along with some shower activity. More on that shortly. First, today's temps hit the high of around 36 to 37 degrees out towards Ipswich, 35 in the city. Coastal regions, it got down to about 33 to 34. 31 at Coolangatta at the airport. However, Tambourine Mountain, Canungra hit the highs of 36 to 37. To the charts now, you can see that moist pocket sitting off the eastern seaboard. Obviously, that's going to take a bit of that warmth with it. It's sort of a bit of a squeeze between that and an inland trough that's forecast to bring storms through central northern Queensland tonight, tomorrow. Uh, that trough, of course, will then provide a little bit of shelter and coolness as a southerly change moves up the eastern seaboard tomorrow evening into Sunday. You'll notice it on Sunday, those daytime temps with a couple of muggy nights ahead. So around the nation, it's going to be clear skies for Sydney, much cooler for those in the far southern nation. Love to be in Canberra. 7 to 18 and windy. Melbourne, a few showers, 13 to 21. Hobart, 12 to 18. Back to the tropics now. Storms coming in, uh, particularly for Cairns down through Townsville and Mackay. Highs of around 31 to 32 degrees there. Clear skies for Mount Isa. Storms also around Emerald. Coastal regions, you could expect a, a few storms there to come through around Rocky through to about Bundaberg, Gladstone, potentially towards Harvey Bay. I don't think they'll reach that far south though. Although a few showers starting to move in around Harvey Bay through to Gympie at times. Partly cloudy for Toowoomba though and 31. Back home now, we may just see a couple of isolated showers there. It's going to be overcast tomorrow, so that could come through around the Caboolture and Sunshine Coast regions. Otherwise, we're looking highs around 32 to 33. Another swelter day in Ipswich and 36 on the water. North or east winds, east-southeast change. We're welcoming that. 26 to 33 in the city and cloudy. And that's going to see a few showers in on Sunday with a high of 30 degrees, cooling down on Monday. Similar for Ipswich, overcast Sunday, Monday. Highs of 31, Ipswich. Uh, 20 to 32 on Tuesday. Gold and sunshine. Gold Coast, cloudy on Sunday, but then Sunshine Coast will see some showers coming through till Monday and drying out. Let's check the waterways for tomorrow.
For the surface tomorrow, it looks as though we're going to see that east swell pushing in at around 10 second intervals. Got that morning run up tide. So a few of those banks will be worthwhile. Now, the winds will be more offshore northwest early before turning southwest. And by early to mid morning, it'll be turning more southerly, southeast by lunchtime. So obviously, the points will be the best bet later on. Open stretches nice and early. Water temp folding steady at about 23 degrees. It will warm up with that southerly. On the fishing scene, if you are keen to get out there, there's been some beautiful catches taken out wide. Plenty of blue marlin, striped marlin, black marlin, all from the shelf. And, of course, around that 50 fathom line for the smaller fish. Bigger fish head out to 200 fathoms, thanks for that Gav Sea Probe charters. Back inshore, been no shortage of good quality trevally about if you're keen in the estuaries. This hot weather has brought them on the bite. Been a few general mixed bags also taken of mud crabs. I'll be trying the lower reaches of creeks and rivers. Good luck. Thanks, Bertie. And that's all from us this Friday. Thanks for your company. Updates throughout the evening, but for now from all the team, have a good night. Good night.